Hey guys, sorry about that. We have like nine seconds of dead air there. Uh, we're still having a little bit of problems with the computer, but we're all right now. This hand is definitely a snap keep. We've got a two drop, a three drop, a five drop, a four drop. Um, keep a Rooney, keep a Roosters, all of that jazz. Um, could not have wished for a better hand right now. So that's what we're going with, certainly. Would like a second island at some point, but so far, so good. Uh, does he have an ingester drone? Well, that's just annoying. Not that it's a huge issue, but we do get a second island, and then we'll just run it out. Call it a turn. All that fine stuff. Oh, man, if he curves out, though, we could be... Well, it's not exactly curving out. I got a planes. <laughs> That's an interesting, an interesting uh, idea. Can't say how good it's going to be in the next five seconds, but certainly interesting. All one drops all the time, I guess. What do you got? Sure. Seems fine. Now he's wondering if he's going to get... <laughs> I wonder if he's thinking about if he's attacking. I'd like him to attack. I'll trade my guy. I'll, I'll trade two damage and two expels for a free card. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So he's going to draw and discard as well. So he's got all ingests, all dudes, all the time. Well, it's interesting. I'll give him that much. It's certainly an interesting plan. He is the beatdown right now. He is the beatdown. Whereas we are not, because we continue to draw some lands. Although that's certainly not an issue, uh, seeing as we've got... Still have plenty of cards in hand, but... Yeah, no sense attacking in. I'll go shields up. Eventually my guys get a little better than yours. Eventually. That doesn't tap anybody down, so that's interesting. So it basically means that he's... And that's actually great that it's a tap land, because... it's not He's not going to be able to activate Sludge Crawler twice, which means I can trade off Sludge Crawler... Essentially for either Mist Intruder and an Eldrazi spawn... For a Mist Intruder or an Eldrazi spawn. Yep. That's fine. So basically, I blank his turn, and we go one for one. Seems reasonable to me. Oh, that's just great. We're going to swing two, start getting our beat down on. I think now, because we, we have a pretty decent attack here. So he really wants to get the ingest going. <laughs> We're like two cards basically just blanked his entire hand. Two Eldrazi spawn. Two Eldrazi sky spawners. Good old fashioned blue white skies. Nothing like it. We did, I, it's an odd attack with the sludge crawler because otherwise I would have been. I would have had to trade off. Um, basically two guys, if he'd waited a turn. But maybe he, maybe he's got like a really good four drop. He could have a Merc Strider, although that's actually pretty awkward for him. He'd have to like, cause he like he can basically only bounce a token for value. Yep. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, I'm absolutely okay with that. I will happily replay a Sky Spawner next turn. He'll probably hit a spell. Or a land. I'm alright with him hitting land. Yeah, I'm very okay with him hitting land. Doesn't matter which, I'll choose a creature on the off chance. I'll play tight. Cool. Alright, well. Um, yeah, that, I'm alright with this. Just replay Sky Spawner. Absolutely. He didn't even return the one that can attack. <laughs> He's like, well, you drafted three of them? I'm like, no, you returned it to my hand. Oh, that's funny. I wish I had drafted three Sky Spawners. They're an amazing card. I'm a huge, huge fan of Sky Spawner. I love, I love to spawn me some Skies. At least this way we got Gideon's Reproach out too. Our opponent's still stuck on four mana. I wonder if he's playing 16 land and just like all, all low drops. Oh, Incubator Drone. All right. That's a thing. I hope he attacks with the the one two because if he does, I'm 100% gonna Gideon's approach it, um, and then just crash in for four, and then play a four three flyer. I just feel like that's a a solid way to do things. I could be wrong. Mama didn't raise no dummy. I've got a Gideon's Reproach though too, so maybe maybe I just play the 3-2 flyer. Sure. I'll double block. It's free value right there, folks. Some good old free value. Right there, right there. Alright, well this this isn't um, too insane here. I could play... Yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of land this game. I wonder if I... Do I really want to trade off one of my two ones for the Mist Intruder? Probably. I don't really care too much, actually. I just think that's fine. If he decides to block, I will get in's approach. Just because, like, I don't. Just because I, I honestly just want to clear the skies. Um. Really just want to, yeah. Really just want to keep the skies clear and just keep bashing on in. And I wonder if it makes sense to actually sack the Eldrazi spawn and actually play the the four three. And I think it does. I think it does. Because now we've got him on a two-turn clock, um, and the 4-3 blocks pretty much everything, barring a combat trick, which I don't think there are any good ones in blue-black. He could have the three-mana one doesn't work because I've got one more power than necessary. He could be splashing white and just go smite the monstrous. We did see a third copy of it floating around somewhere. And maybe our, his, our opponent's deck is, isn't just four drops and under, maybe it's um, Esper. But, I like this play. It just kind of forces him to have things. Although, at this point, we've seen 8, 9 of our land. I'd like to see some more spells at some point. As opposed to our opponent who's seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spells. I guess we've seen the same amount of spells. Well, no, we've seen 5 spells. Because we've... Um, Shadow Bladder is a thing. Although, to be fair, technically speaking... He did give us an extra spell. So we're all right. Yeah. And see, this is why... Oh, well. We'll swing eight. I absolutely like swinging eight here. And then we'll scry two off Manta.
which is awesome because now uh, no view view two cards. Oh, that's great. Um, except he has nothing expelled, so this actually can go to deck bottom. And I'm actually going to keep adverse conditions on deck top. On the off chance he finds blockers next turn. Uh, adverse conditions just basically flat out wins us the game. So I will block salvage drone no matter what. And then if he uses a removal spell to eliminate the blocker to get this, he's just dead anyway. So I like our position. This is not in jest. Take all of it. Absolutely just going to take all of it here. And just force him to have basically, yeah, two kill spells. So our opponent's deck is mono one drops. How do we respond to mono one drops? Oh, I think we side out our smite the monstrous, certainly. Uh, it's just terrible against our opponent. I don't think there's any any and all reason to think that it would be, but I, I do think our uh, why Royals Retribution uh, is just insane against him. That like that that's basically one sided wrath. If he walks into it, so hand seems great. We've got a incubator drone and a three drop, so. And we have a planes to handle his low guys early on. So that seems good. Yeah, two Gideon's approach. No one drop by him is pretty significant too. Could change the whole pace of the game. You never know. I don't know if I'm gonna waste Gideon's approach though on a one on like the one one dorks. Maybe if he plays the one that pumps, I will, but. Or if this is anything, no, oh, I'll definitely waste on that. Hitting our lands. GG, ladies and gentlemen. All lands matter. That's true. Love an Ujin's insight for this deck. That'd be just awesome. Alright, what's he going to play? What you going to do with all that junk? That dude. That dude's pretty good. Approach. I've been told by many people I'm I'm not very reproachable. <laughs> oh, got him. That's right, folks. Bad puns are be the majority of the show. Of course, we play Sky Spawner. And then if he swings in with Thrall, I'm just gonna take it. Um. I'm not going to offer trade and get fancy with it. I'll play Incubator Drone, which just blocks this thing all day long. Yeah, Carrier Thrall has been like one of the few two drops. And Calling Drone is pretty good too. I just didn't want to like enable any of his ingest guys. Um, that's the reason, really the reason that I, I reproached that one earlier. But this one is this one seems to be best... In the uh, the green black sacrifice stuff deck, um, just very good in that shell. I think I actually get a swing with the Eldrazi spawn here too. If he makes a culling drone. I definitely get a swing with the Eldrazi spawn. Oh, he does have bone splinters. Odd that he didn't sack Carrier Thrall there. Although maybe he's just trying to dig for land. That can entirely be it. In which case, I don't I don't blame him. But basically, he's... Yeah, so we got rid of a Merc Strider, too. Yeah, our opponent's in a pretty, pretty bad way. He didn't draw a land there, either. Because if he did, he would have played it. Although... He hits his land drop. We might actually be in for a... A rough time. We don't start getting any pressure soon. 
Although we do have a Gideon's Approach and another Quasi Removal spell, so that seems pretty good. Let's start crashing in with our dudes and making stuff happen. Would love to see like our big flyer or heck a cloud manta wouldn't be terrible either. Sure. What's gonna be great is I'm gonna I'll like I'll block this thing, and then he'll go to pump it and I'll just kill it with a Gideon's approach and he'll have wasted a turn. That's the big that's the, the big plan there. So he did hit a land off the top, now he's anticipating probably searching for a fourth land. I can't imagine he's in good shape though, after having burnt basically bone splinters and salvage drone. So salvage drone draws a card, then discards a card. So he plays bone splinters is down one. Salvage drone makes him down two, and he goes up one, down one again. So he basically zero like uh, two for one himself against us with that one, which isn't terrible. But anticipate art has gotten way has gotten way cooler. I don't know what it, this thing, like, I don't know when Merfolk became, like, super Archmage, like, Jesus boys, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, let's see what happens here. Sandstone Bridge. Sandstone Bridge makes this interesting. So, Sandstone Bridge actually makes me... Swing with Incubator Drone. And then now we just get to swing for five. That's pretty sweet. Well, that's pretty neat. How neat is that? That's pretty awesome. Really, uh, really starting to put the boots to him now. <laughs> That's a lie. We're not even, we're not doing anything of the sort. We're <laughs> really just sort of limping by on pressure. Um, but even so, killing carrier thrall there is actually pretty important because now our opponent has access to five mana possibly next turn. Already tapping it. Surprisingly enough, I have been sandbagging lands just for such an opportunity. Oh, that's awesome. Could not have wished for a better draw there. Myers Malice is another card, by the way, folks, that has impressed me just so much in the last couple weeks. Like, this card was basically, for the same effect, was about a mana more in Lorwyn. Yep, absolutely fine going trading Eldrazi Spawn for Eldrazi Spawn, uh, because we're going to play a Sky Spawner anyway. If that's not GG, I don't know what is. I think... I feel pretty good about this. I feel... Like, 90% confident we've got this game in the bag. He's shown us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of his spells. Assuming he's playing 23 like us, and we've... You know, we're doing okay. We're doing alright, I should say. do the double block we'll make it seem like we don't have the reproach come on pump your dude if he doesn't pump the dude and pass his priority we're still going to reproach it Ask if it's a pump. And then 
then we just blow them out with reproach. Yep, that seems good. So we don't lose anybody. Our opponent is down a card and two mana. You have spell shrivel? Be awkward if you had spell shrivel. Oh, alright. Well, you have complete disregard. That's pretty good. Your dude is still dead, though. And I still have my token. Huh, so we didn't get him as much as possible. Which is fine. I'm going to keep that land in hand, because quite frankly, we know our opponent has discard. Uh, and he could just have the three, the Mindraker, the 3-3 three, three that just manhandles us. If we don't have stuff, and I really not, I really don't want to discard Tightening Coils, because if he does have anything big... So we have played... Literally five spells this game. <laughs> oh man. Sky Spawner is so good. Like when I saw Sky Spawner, I literally flipped out. I, I can't believe they printed a card like Sky Spawner. I like I just I'm blown away by that. Nice sincere like Gear Report Gear Crafter was already value city. And then they're just like, what if we made everything about Gear Report Gear Crafter better? Like, what if we made the 2 1 fly? But what if we made it the same mana cost? And then what if we give the 1 1 the ability to sacrifice for mana? In addition to being a relevant body. What if we did all of those things? Alright. I'll run this right into what I'm going to assume is either like completely awry or spell shrivel or any number of counter spells. There it is, Benthic Infiltrator. Alright, so our opponent does not counter it. I'm not going to play the land out because at this point I can cast everything in my deck anyway. And there's no point in walking right into a Mind Raker and losing the best thing I have to answer anybody. And he's got Myers Malice with the Awaken. Calling it now. Yep. Or Rolling Miasma. Myers Malice is the discard one. Sure, you got my two Eldrazi spawn. Yep, absolutely fine. Knew that was coming, and I'm really honestly shocked that he didn't play it earlier. When he had, when he like hesitated, I'm like, this is, I'm like this is Myers Malice. Uh, we're gonna get him though. We're gonna move one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna actually bounce the land, make the three three, and then just kill him. And then Swing Lethal. Well, that's it. Good game. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that. I certainly had a good time. It was tons of fun. Uh, and of course, thank you to Old School who joined us, our slash animator by his uh, tapped out name, of course. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.